Today I'd like to talk about Rode Wireless Go 2 and the issues I've had with it over the last couple of weeks. Hi, my name's Matt and recently I've started a new business and I've decided to document that whole process so you can learn from my successes and avoid my mistakes. If that sounds like your cup of tea, do me a favor and subscribe. Now, as much as I love the Rode Wireless Go 2 system, it's phenomenal by all means, but it has some major flaws which I just can't understand. And sound quality and recording onto this little device um, as a backup is phenomenal. So there's no issue with that. And you hear the unedited sound right now. So I think it's quite decent. And I'm using some cheap um, lavalier mics, which I've bought off, uh, off of Amazon and don't really know the brand name. They came in this little pouch, two of them, and the sound quality is absolutely decent and I haven't had any complaints yet. The issue I've had with the Rode Wireless Go was concerning the onboard recording. So there are so many f reviews of the Rode Wireless Go 2 out there that I'm not going to review the whole system. I'm just going to focus on one major issue I had, which led me to almost sending them back and how I fixed it. Now the thing is, you have to, you absolutely have to connect them to your Rode Central app on your Mac or laptop and PC, Windows. Um, in order for you to make full use of them. So the Rode Central app is absolutely essential to getting the most out of your Rode. The issue is you can't access the recordings, the backup recordings, or if you just use a, a transmitter as a recorder, you can't access the recordings on one of the two devices. And I don't know why. I plug it in with the small USB-C cable directly into the laptop, start the Rode Central app or start Rode Central app first and then plug it in, uh, plug them in. And one of the two devices is red spontaneously. So absolutely no issues. It, you plug it in, it's connected. You can access the files on the um, transmitter and download them, export them in 32-bit um, float if you want to and all that is fine. The thing is, if I connect the second device, which should be absolutely identical, I get an error message telling me that there was an error mounting the storage device. And the thing is that I can't figure out why. I've tried multiple USB-C to USB cables. I've tried mul multiple USB-C to USB-C cables like this one and all had the same issue. I've plugged in the um, Rode Wireless Go 2 via this USB-C cable onto an older laptop and it worked. I've used the attached or uh, in the box um, USB-C to USB-A cable and they worked on the older laptop not on my new laptop. Uh, the old laptop is Nasus UX330 and the new one is a Sapphirus G14. And I really don't know why it works on one laptop and it doesn't on the other. Then I thought, well, the older laptop has USB 2.0 instead of USB uh, 3.0. And I've bought this little five bucks USB A dongle, USB 2.0 dongle off of Amazon and had no issues. I've just plugged in the same cable um, in the USB uh, A dongle, put it into the laptop and it works. The funny thing is I've just tried the cable from an old Huawei mobile phone, USB C to USB A and that one works. If I tried a newer um, USB-C to USB-A cables that came up with my mobile phone, uh, it doesn't work. 
So there is some glitch or I don't know what it is that has to do with the USB A type. So 2.0 or 3.0, which leads to the issues. And my workaround is to use this dongle. And so far, every single USB C to USB A cable that I've attached via this dongle um, or USB switch or whatever you call that um, worked. That's a minor inconvenience, but I, I've even talked to the road customer support, which I haven't heard back from after one and a half weeks now, maybe so, two weeks. And that's quite disappointing. So I've um, called them and they said, well, they get back to me. I wrote them and I haven't heard from them so far. So the issue is that even though the devices work perfectly fine, there seems to be an issue concerning the connectivity with USB-A to USB-C or USB-C to USB-C or USB 2.0 to USB 3.0. And the quickest, cheapest fix, instead of testing a hundred different cables, is to buy a USB 2.0 switch dongle or whatever you call that. And I haven't had any issues so far with this workaround besides the fact that I have to carry this switch with me at all times. But in order to access the files or the backup files, which are stored on the internal memory of this um, transmitter, I'm quite happy to even be able to access them. I thought about sending them back, but then, but then I wrote, uh, read online that there are multiple um, issues with this exact thing and sending them back and buying new ones didn't always solve the issue. So if you encounter the same issue with your Rode Wireless Go 2, buy a cheap USB 2.0 dongle switch from Amazon or B&H or wherever you get them and you're fine. 